Hi there, welcome to Irish Homestead. Um, because it's been a particularly bad winter this year, there's been a lot of rain uh, as usual, but there's been a lot of snow. Uh, the animals, animals have spent uh, more time inside than we had possibly anticipated. Um, so we thought we had a good supply of, of winter hay to last us through till early spring, but because of the bad weather, uh, we've gone through it far quicker than we thought. We give hay to the donkey, uh, to the goats, and also to the sheep. Um, we stack the hay inside this in the barn because it's the driest place that we've got. The hay barn does get a lot of damp and mist blowing through it, so we stack it in here. Um, now Evie is in the cubicle next to the hay, and Evie always has her hay net full of hay. She always has it topped up with hay. But Evie's decided that the hay this side tastes much better than the hay that she's got in her net. So she does a lot of effort to try and reach the hay. She puts her head through, and we've even found uh, once that she's jumped out over these sheep hurdles, because um, she's got deep bedding in this corner, she's jumped out and she was still on top of the hay bales, munching away. Um, but the trouble is, these four hay bales in this corner, she's stood on, she's not going to eat it now. Uh, because once they've stood on it, and once it's gone on the floor, they won't eat it. So, one thing I'm going to go and do today is pick up some more hay. Um, there's a young lad nearby uh, called David who sells hay in square bales, fortunately, because we find it will be very hard for us to move around bale. So whilst they cost a little bit more, they're much more convenient because I can get 12 of these bales in my trailer. So today I've got to go off and meet David and bring some more hay back. Just entered the trailer. Um, on this trip, I got 12 bales, um, and I'm going to go and get a, pick another trailer up uh, in a moment um, because we're going on, we're going through on average two bales, maybe a little bit more than two bales a week, depending on how wet the weather is. Um, and that's for three goats, one donkey, and three sheep. Um, we're paying at the moment, uh, winter time, uh, prices of feed have gone up, we're paying around 6 euros, um, which is still quite good because in the market it's being sold for up to 8 or 10 euros. Um, so our young lad down the road is really looking after us. Uh, summertime, uh, when this is freshly cut and there's a good abundance of hay, you can pay anywhere from about 4 to 5 euros per bale. So it's not a particularly cheap way of feeding, the big round bales are much much cheaper in terms of volume, but I can move it in the trailer, the trouble is once we get it here, it's getting it inside, it wouldn't fit through the door, if it goes under the hay barn, it's just going to get too damp and wet, and if this stuff is damp and wet, the goats will not touch it, they won't touch it at all, it's got to be nice and dry, and a good way of telling whether this uh, hay is good, is it has a nice sweet smell to it, uh, and this is really good hay. Um, so that's the first 12 bales, so I'm off to pick another 12 bales up. So that's it, uh, two trailer loads done, um, so that's 22 bales, um, so using two to three bales a week, uh, that should keep us going for another couple of months, uh, through to the, nicely into the spring. Um, it is inside the barn here, so it is covered out the rain and the mist, and um, but uh, particularly with the frosty weather we do get condensation and we do get drips coming off the barn roof, so we do cover it with the tarpaulin uh, just to give it that extra bit of protection. <laughs> 